We science nerds know Neil deGrasse Tyson, the seventh black dude ever to become an astrophysicist and a total badass. Every high school student knows that Isaac Newton discovered gravity, that Charles Darwin discovered the theory of evolution, and that Albert Einstein discovered the theory of relativity. But when it comes to the composition of our universe, the textbooks simply say that the most abundant atom in the universe is hydrogen. And no one ever wonders how we know what the universe is made of. The reason is that the person who discovered what the universe is made of is shock, a woman. And her story is going to blow your mind. Cecilia Helena Payne Gabotchkin was a born in the UK, a made in America astronomer and first female astrophysicist. She studied botany, physics and chemistry at Cambridge University but was never granted a degree because Cambridge didn't grant degrees to women back then, obviously. She realised that if she stayed in the UK, her only career option would be to become a teacher, so she moved to the US as what I like to call an academic refugee. In 1925, she became the first person to earn a PhD in astronomy from Ratcliffe College, now known as part of Harvard University. At the time, her thesis was called undoubtedly the most brilliant PhD thesis ever written in astronomy. What was so brilliant about it? Well, she applied ionization theory to show that the sun's spectrum contained huge amounts of hydrogen. This was a big deal because until now, everyone thought that the sun was basically made of the same stuff as Earth, like oxygen and carbon and nitrogen. She figured out that the sun was mostly hydrogen and that maybe that's what all the stars were made of. And then she theorized that hydrogen would be the most abundant element in the universe. Now, her supervisor, Henry Norris Russell, was like, no way that the universe is made of hydrogen. Damn girl, shut your mouth. He basically wouldn't let her publish this idea because it so contradicted common wisdom. But four years later, this guy Russell figured out the same thing a different way and took full credit for her discovery. Russell is thus a massive douche, but he is still the douche who often gets credited with the discovery that the universe is mostly made of hydrogen. Back to Cecilia. During her career at Harvard, she and her team made over 2 million observations of stars and figured out the structure of our galaxy, the Milky Way. She also was the first woman in the world to be given the title astronomer and the first Harvard woman to be promoted to full professor. But since her death in 1979, this incredible woman who discovered what the universe is made of has had not so much as a memorial plaque. Her newspaper obituaries don't even mention her greatest discovery. Now, March just happens to be Women's History Month. So if you, like me, believe that this badass bitch deserves a little more credit and maybe like a chapter or a mention in the physics textbooks, we can be the change that we want to see in the world. Head on over to our Facebook page and share the shit out of this graphic from our friends at IFL Science celebrating Cecilia Helena Payne Gabochkin and her total badassery. Go, go share, go share now. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.